Welcome back in sports. Following the success of its 2016 season, the Capital Rugby Union has kicked off its first weekend of Rugby Sevens today. Twelve men's and nine women's team have been drawn to compete this weekend. Due to the reconstruction of the Baba Rugby Park for the 2016 FIFA Women's Under-20 World Cup in November, CRU has secured the Tarama Barracks Rugby Oval to host its Sevens matches. Skola Sengi with the details. The rugby fraternity in Port Moresby turned up in numbers to see through the first weekend of Rugby Sevens matches at the Tarama Barracks Rugby Oval today. CRU Sevens 12 clubs have fielded a men's team each and nine women's team to kick off the Rugby Sevens hype. The Tarama Barracks Oval has been secured as the alternative venue to host the CRU Sevens this year. This is due to the reconstruction of the Bava Rugby Park once again for the FIFA Women's Under-20 World Cup to be held in November. This has forced the association to delay the start and span of its annual competitions. The sevens competition is scheduled to run for the next three weekends before the staging of the Export Rugby Sevens Series Championships scheduled to be held at the end of this month. Skola Sengi, NBC National Sports, Put Moresby. Pacific Games Council President Vidya Lakan has emphasized on the need to have more physical education in primary and secondary schools in the country. Paul Tomic Jr. reports. A presentation from Lay Secondary School teacher Simon Mai and NSI's Mike Smith has prompted the call for more physical education in schools. This was highlighted by Vidya Lakan, the Pacific Games Council President, at the second day of the National Sports Policy Conference yesterday. Lakan hopes that formulators of the sports policy consider the concerns of schools and will take them on board. And once it goes to the minister and goes to parliament for, for approval, that it will be, it'll become a national policy. And then the important bit is, okay, these are the national policies. What steps are we going to take? What resources are we going, as a government, going to provide to ensure that these policies are actually put in place and practiced? He also highlighted on sports violence, use of drugs and maths fixing, which is becoming common in sporting fields and sports worldwide. should be very fresh in our minds what happened in Russia. Rio Olympics, Russian athletes, Russia as a nation, uh, had, had, IOC had a lot of issues with them and their athletes that were allowed to take part had to be individually checked and certified drug free before they were allowed to go. So it's prevalent, it's happening in sports worldwide. Fortunately, in the Pacific, we have been very lucky that the number of athletes who were caught cheating or using uh, substances that are illegal or not authorized, minimal, one or two. But that is not to say that in the future, the numbers are not going to increase. Paul Tomic Jr., NBC National Sports, Port Moresby. The third National Sports Conference concluded today, witnessed by the Oceania Hockey's President Pam Olga and Secretary General Bob Claxton. Paul Tomic Jr. reports. It's been a positive third National Sports Conference with international guests from Oceania Hockey who have given them a far broad idea of how sports in PNG is being a success since the last year's Pacific Games. The Sports Foundation is very passionate about moving sport forward. Uh, that won't be without its challenges because... He said having a world-class pitch to play on, which will only accelerate the skills of the players to play on. It allows them, the Oceania Hockey, to look at placing international events here in PNG with the possible placing of the Commonwealth Youth Hockey to be held here in Port Moresby, PNG. You need money to then support the, the national uh, associations in, in, in all the different sports. Now, <clears throat> that's going to take a lot of funding and uh, that'll be a challenge for the government. And 
Bob Claxton, said obviously the PNG Sports Foundation is passionate about moving sports forward and that will not be without the challenges because to move sports forward apart from the sports facilities, they need the money to then support the national associations in all the different sports. The national associations, including hockey, have a larger now responsibility to make sure their governance of their sport is in order. I think the conference will find that they've got a lot of feedback and a lot of information that they can use to distill and help shape that policy. Paul Tomic Jr., NBC National Sports, Port Moresby. Wraps up sports for tonight, Jerry. It's back to you. Thank you, Evelyn. Stay with us. We'll return after the break with the finance news. Thank <laughs> you.